All right, ladies and gentlemen, Melina shocks, right? This is a shocking look. If you've never seen Melina, you're in for a real treat. This is really good stuff, right? Now, Hollywood is centered on looks and beauty and glam and all that, right? So if you put two and two together, do a bit of figuring, then you know that Melina is going to make it big. She is going to be bold. She's going to be one of the top Hollywood people the world has ever seen. She has the look, right? She's got it. She's got it, right? Now I want you guys to look at all my videos and say, hey, this is really good. I like this video here. I like when she sings this song. I'm all about her performing this. I really like it when she does this. This kind of video is very, very good. Melina shocks. She's shockingly beautiful. It's rare to see a person like this. I'm sure you guys, I mean, I've talked about this a lot. I'm sure you guys are like, yes, we know. You're very rare. We never see people like you. There are people like me, obviously, and a lot of them are entertainers. But um, it is rare to see someone that looks as good as both a man and a woman. I think I'm probably number one in ranking, in my mind on it so far at least, right? It is so shocking. Most people don't look good as a man or as a woman, but when you look at the best in the world as both, it's quite impressive, right? I'm saying the average person, I'm not saying. You know, I think everyone is beautiful, but you know what I mean, like to be this gorgeous is rare, right? But some of you out there are very beautiful, and a lot of my fans are very supportive of my beauty, and I, I don't judge, so I you're supportive of me, but um, anyway, I don't, I, looks is it's not something I want to, um, you know, make a negative statement on. Everyone, everyone's beautiful in their own way, but I'm, I'm just talking about it in terms of my look, right? Like being, being rare and unique, right? It's rare. We all know that everybody's beautiful. We all know that no one should be judged. No one should feel bad. Um, but Melina and Marco are pretty much the most beautiful you could get, right? And people love looking at that. They don't. They don't worry about how they look, and they shouldn't. No one should feel just judged or feel bad about how they look. But it's really nice to see an entertainer that fits like an incredible look, and they're very nice too. I'm never judgmental. I'm never mean, and I really don't think anybody should be. But you know, Melina's gorgeous, right? Like, look how gorgeous she is. It's so shockingly rare that it's crazy. All right, guys, lots of performances tonight. Wishing you guys a great night. As usual, Melinda's going to do a really good job for you guys. All right, a lot of my fans look very, very good too. I'm not the only one, but, but it's rare to see a beauty this beautiful and look as good as Marco, all right? All right I know, and I, I would never say anybody looks bad. I didn't mean it that way. I would just say, and my fans are obviously very good, but people that watch and think I'm being judgmental, I'm never judgmental. Like, if you see me on the street, I'm never rude to anyone. All right, but I am very good looking, and I know that, so I talk about it. But, you know, it's just something I, I talk about. But, all right, you get the point. You know I'm not judging anybody, right? You understand that I'm not judging, I'm never rude. All right, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like my videos. All right. Now, we all know that a lot of celebrities look very, very good, and a lot of performers look very, very good. And that's why a lot of people watch them. The, good look, the better looking a performer is, it doesn't help them advance their career. Not that that's the only thing. You don't have to be good looking to be famous or to even be rich. Well, obviously, people know that, but you know what I mean. All right, guys, I wish you well. And remember, anybody can become beautiful at some point in time you don't have to be beautiful right away some people actually become more beautiful as they get older if you are someone that's struggling with your appearance and you don't feel beautiful don't worry you will you be confident with it no one should judge you for it no one should make you feel bad all right i would never make anybody feel bad i'm never rude 
I might be busy and I might not say much, but I'm not. I, I'm very busy. I've got lots to do. So a lot of times I'm not really saying anything to anyone, but. Um, one second, guys. But I'm just. Um, I'm not really saying much to anyone because I'm very busy running around doing stuff. But, but I mean, for the most part, you're never going to see me insult anyone and be rude. I'm never going to call someone a name. You know, I'm 41, right? So I look young, but I'm 41. Like, in my youth, maybe I would have done something like that. But as you get older, you mature and you think to yourself, well, why would you say something rude, you know? People that I know would never say anything rude, whether they're good looking or not. They're never going to say anything rude. They're never going to be rude. I, I know a lot of people that are very attractive and I don't, I don't see them calling people names. They never call anybody names. They never say anything rude. Because it's not, it's, it's not something that people do, you know, in my age or anything. And a lot of my friends are younger because I look so young. But, and they're gorgeous. But, but they would never say anything rude. Like Being rude is kind of like a time waster. And you get into trouble with that kind of thing. Like nobody wants to be rude. It's just, it's, it's kind of like, well, if you're going to be rude, you're going to waste people's time and they're going to feel insecure. You know, you don't want to be rude, right? So anyway, <laughs> sorry guys, all that talk. But I mean, for the most part, everyone knows me. They know, if you know me very well, you know I've grown up with a lot of people that um, like a lot of people that I know, know that I never judge. I'm always so nice, regardless of whether someone's attractive or not. I'm always so nice. Like a lot of my friends are gorgeous, but, but I mean, there's friends of mine that aren't and I'm very nice to them. And I don't think any particular, and this, and beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So some people might like beauty, um, in one sense and think someone's beautiful and other people might not, right? So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Someone might think I'm not attractive but they like people that are really overweight. And that's, I mean, it's more rare to see that because I'm very attractive, but some people really do not like thin people, right? So those people would not go for a thin person. So I, if, I mean, I'm married, but if I wasn't married, they wouldn't go for me, right? So that's just how it is. Sometimes people just pick someone that they find this beauty is subjective, right? So not everyone's going to find something beautiful. I like, I, I, for me, I like the glamorous, the beauty, like, I like buff dudes uh, and thin women, but, I mean, for me, it's not something I'm... Uh, but that's just what I find beautiful, but not everybody finds that beautiful, right? Uh, I find that beautiful, but... I mean, the majority of people probably find that beautiful, but not everybody. But remember, guys, do not give up. Like, I'm always there to support the underdog, right? Like, if someone may be feeling insecure about their looks or whatever, please don't. Like... You're beautiful no matter what you look like. Don't feel like you have to compete or whatever. Um, some people might feel like they're not good enough if they're not a buff guy or if they're not a petite woman. But you know, it's not like it's not like um, it's not like it's how are you gonna get to be a buff guy or a petite woman if you're always worried about it, right? So you have to start somewhere, right? Not everybody's gonna start off in those positions. And you know, it's surprising, but some people actually become very beautiful, like really beautiful aesthetically, and they may not have been before, ever. Those people are really happy, because for them, they're like, I can't believe I ever, I'm beautiful, I never thought I would be, right? That's where people don't take it for granted, right? They're very, very, people that are like, that have been stuck in a, in a world where they weren't beautiful, and now they are, so they're really enjoying it. Like, those are the people that are like, yes, this is what I want all my life, this is great. I know this one girl, she was like, Totally unattractive when she was younger. Uh, she had uh, kind of like this problem with her walking, and then, and then, so she got older. She became a singer, and then, and then she was really beautiful. And then I was like, holy! I'm so shocked. Um, yeah, that happens, and it happened more than you think it would, right? So, if you're not like the most beautiful person on earth, don't worry, like. And even if you don't stay, even if you never become beautiful or you never become attractive, it's not something to sulk about. Cause people, some people that are, if you like beautiful people, like people that are aesthetically pleasing in the most conventional form, and they might like you, right? So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So don't worry about whether you're not beautiful enough or whatever you might think that. 
because some people that are not that are really beautiful might like you. So don't don't think that it's um, something that you can't overcome, right? But I mean, in my in my world, people that I know are very immature. They're not worried about if they're not attractive. They're not going to be like I'm, I'm, they're not going to worry about it. You know, they're not going to think, oh, I'm, I'm going to change. You know, they're they're happy with who they are. They're not going to be worried about it, and they shouldn't be unhappy with it. They should be happy with it. So yes, um, I mean. I talk like about beauty and looks when I'm on my channel, but in, in reality, I'm always around, I'm always talking to everybody, I'm always very nice, like, even if somebody's transgendered or whatever, I'm not going to be rude, you know, I'm, well, I, I might seem transgender, but when I'm out, out in public, I'm Marco, and I don't, I mean, transgendered is, is definitely a beautiful look, but uh, I'm not really, you know, people think, people think that I don't dress up as a woman when I'm Marco, so they might think, oh, he's, he's an intimidating, good looking guy. So they might think I'm rude, but I'm not rude. Like, I'm never rude. Uh, anyway, thank you guys. Okay, that's enough for that. That's okay, bye.